Hi, good evening, everyone. I'm Ezra Royeka. I'm going to be discussing with you an important aspect of uh, research, chapter one, which talks about the significance of study and scope of study. So this particular section in research is of great importance because it tries to tell us the importance of that research work. The importance can be towards the community, especially. It can also be for the general public. It can also be for policy making. It can also be for having information for further research. So significance of the study is a very important aspect of a research paper. So now, this section explains the importance of research question, highlighting the potential impact of the study on the field and broader community. So now, significance of the study tries to justify the reason for each of the objectives. Let's say you want to look at the knowledge and attitude of pregnant women towards um, lack, uh, towards antenatal care. Now, you want to tell the reader, you want to tell the people who cares to look into your research that, for, that, that it's of importance that you go into this study. Because one, if you understand their knowledge towards ANC, if it is low, or if they have a lower level knowledge or they have a poor knowledge towards that and they do not uh, actually go for continental care, you can now from there develop policies and strategies to increase their, uh, to increase their knowledge or even identify strategies to inform them and to increase ANC attendance, which invariably will reduce the complications associated with not going for continental care. It could also be that it will help the policymakers to develop strategies and policies that will be applied in public health or even the clinical setting. You see the importance of um, significance of the study. Let's, let, let's take an example. The significance of the study on knowledge and perception of pregnant women attending ANC in is multifaceted and has important implication for both the field of maternal and child health and the broader community. First, the study is significant because it addresses a critical public health issue. HIV is a major global concern and pregnant women are particularly vulnerable to the virus. Without proper testing and treatment, HIV positive pregnant women are at risk of transmitting the virus to their infant during child birth or to breastfeeding. Therefore, understanding the knowledge and perception of pregnant women towards HIV testing is crucial in preventing mother to child transmission of HIV. HIV. Another importance, another significance of the study says, of that particular study says, the study is significant because it can inform policy, make policy and practice. By identifying the factors that influence pregnant women's decision to undergo HIV testing, the study can provide insight into the type of interventions that may be effective in increasing testing work rates. You see one of the, so now, you, by the time you have read this, you now understand why you should allow this person to go into this research. By examining the non the study can shed light on the broader social influence, maternal health, and these can help to inform future researches, research on maternal and child health, and may lead to the development of more effective interventions to improve maternal and child health. Outcome. So let's also take another example. Uh, this one is the effect of social media on mental health among adolescents, the significance of the study. 
The contribution of this study to knowledge is significant as it will provide a better understanding of the relationship between social media use and mental health among adolescents. The finding of the study will be useful for parents, educators, and mental health professionals in developing strategies to promote health, healthy social media use among adolescents. The importance of the research. So by the time the uh, the the, 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 the committee looks into this proposal, they definitely approve it because it will contribute to one, it will be useful to parents. The findings will be useful to parents. If they if they found if they if the research finds a negative correlation, they will inform the parents. Okay. It's for educators too. They will use it and for mental health care professionals, it's of great importance. That's all about significance of the study. So you write it according to your objectives. What is the objective one? What is the objective two? What it tends to achieve? Because for every, ob every, every research objective, there is a, uh, an, there is an attached research question or hypothesis to test. And for every objective, there is a general objective. And for every general objective, there is a particular problem that particular objective tends to solve. If you can recall in the statement of the problem, something was identified which prompted you to go into research work. Now you set an objective to be achieved. And you believe well, by the time you achieve that objective, it will help in solving that problem. So now you now justify or now tell us the importance of each of that objectives, of what use uh, would they be by the time you find out the, uh, by the time you get your findings for every objective you stated. So you write it based on your objectives. Objective one, if we find out that the knowledge of these people are low, it will help the policymakers, teachers, and healthcare workers to intensify strategies to improve their knowledge towards A and T. So that's how it's been done. The next is scope of study. This section, that is scope of study, outlines the boundaries of the study, including the population, the setting, and time frame. It explains why these boundaries were chosen. This section tries to explain where the study would be carried out, the population that would be involved in the study. So in the scope of study, you are going to be detailed enough to tell us, yeah, we are going to carry out this research in Hitem Beri and let it be solely in Hitem Beri. And in that Hitem Beri, it's just among pregnant women. Those women who are pregnant, it's not, it's not for any other woman. Who, any other woman that is not pregnant is not included. Okay, then tell us the time frame. This, this, this is a survey that as minimum of six months, the, 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 research, the research should needs to be out. Okay, so that's what the scope of study. Tell us where the research is being carried out, what population, and why. Okay, let's take for example the knowledge and of women attending antenatal care clinics towards potent preventive therapy treatment for malaria during pregnancy in the United States. The scope of this study is to investigate the knowledge. You see, it's only just to what investigate, it's not trying to correlate, it's not trying to. Or, or just go and investigate and report what the what he found there. That's just the scope. Some other research can go into trying to uh, test relationship between one variable and other. That is their own scope. So the scope of this study is to investigate the knowledge and attitude of women attending antenatal care clinics towards intermittent preventing therapy for malaria during pregnancy in, in Imbiri in Imo State. That is, it's, this research is only going to take place in Imbiri. In Imo State, the study will focus on pregnant women who attend ANC clinics in India. So, any other woman who does not attend ANC may not be included. The population for this study will be pregnant women who attend ANC clinic in India. The study will aim to in, include a diverse range of women from different socioeconomic backgrounds. It does not deal limit socioeconomic background, whether you are poor or rich. No, everyone will be studied as far as you are attending ANC and you are pregnant. Ages, it does not limit the age as far as you are pregnant and educational levels. 
whether you're primary or secondary or you didn't go to school, you are involved. The study will exclude women who have previously received IPT, IPT during pregnancy or those who have a history of adverse reaction to the medication. If you have persons who have uh, who have adverse reaction to it, it may not the person may not give us what we want in the story. And it says the setting of the setting for this study will be chosen based on the prevalence of malaria in the area. So when you come when they come back to come back to Mbiri, it's not every part of Mbiri that, that will be involved because we are looking at intermittent preventive therapy for malaria. So this kind of a cohort it can be a cohort study if you want to. Uh, uh, no, it's it is just descriptive. Sorry. But when you want to go to forward for the further, you cannot go into cohort studies. But for this particular work, it's just to describe, just to investigate and report. It's more or less uh, uh, a descriptive design that will be used. Okay. So this study will not with only in, will include both rural and urban areas in Nigeria, so that we can capture range of experiences and what perspectives okay so so that is all about um the scope of study so in a nutshell we've been able to look at the um significance of the study where i been able to let you know that significant study when you are writing it you write it based on your objective what is it that your objective tends to achieve then when it finds out this Based on the findings, you will not you will not use your objective to identify solution for that particular group. Remember, whenever you conduct a research for a particular population, it is always good to give them feedback. Let's say you have four objectives: one, to identify their knowledge; two, to identify the attitude; three, to identify their the factors affecting their knowledge, and all of that. If you identify that their knowledge is low, what is the next step? It is in the significant of that say if we find out that they, if this research finds out that the research that the, the knowledge of this group is very low, then it will help health care workers in their community to develop strategies to improve their knowledge towards A and C. Then we can also communicate our findings to policymakers, that is government, Ministry of Health, so write to them. It will help them to make an informed policy. You see how significant study plays a significant role in research. Then we want forward to talk about scope, where we talk about limitations based on background, uh, based, based on boundaries, sorry, based on time frame, based on population, and other characteristics. That work is just within that scope or confinement. So with this, I believe we'll be able to look at um, the uh, significance of study and the scope of study. Thank you.